welcome everybody to Norton Way's channel. So if you've tuned in already, I'm sure you already know that 2024 is Honda's year. Heavily updated, the CBR 1000 RR Fireblade and the CBR 600 RR. Now if there's any way of showing that Honda listens to its customers, here is proof of the pudding. I'm feeling a little bit dizzy here, but bear with me while I try my best. So the Fireblade now is being updated with more mid-range, like everybody's asked for, so it's going to be a lot more usable on the road and a lot more easier to access the power on the track when you're coming out of those corners. Also, we've got a much roomier riding position. Again, answered the customer's uh, prayer calls. You've got lower foot pegs and the clip-on handlebars are a little bit higher and a little bit clo closer, making it much more easier to ride. Now here's a little secret. I've got one of these arriving for me in a couple of days and I haven't been this excited since last Christmas. So discontinued since 2017, but they've still retained the undertow exhaust, which I'm really, really glad about. Obviously, Euro compliant now, and to keep up with current trends, you've got straight out of the box, a quick shifter and an auto blipper. So it means, you know, if you're out on the road, less fatigue on longer trips because you don't need to use the clutch when moving. And if you're a track day warrior, no need to touch the clutch from the moment you leave the pits to the moment you come back in. Quite often the case with Honda, we've got another industry first. Now I'm a little bit of a suspension geek and this gets me really, really excited, but we've got the Olin's EC3 semi-active suspension. Heavily updated over the EC2 and not currently available on any other manufacturer's platform. So the Fireblade for 2024 comes in Grand Prix red, as you can see, and also comes in a black carbon edition. CBR 600 RR, on the other hand, comes in Grand Prix red and matte ballistic black metallic for a more stealthier option. The forks for the CBR 600 RR are a little bit longer for 2024, which means you can raise the front end for track use and get harder on the brake than ever before without the back wheel lifting. So back since 2017, we have a full color TFT screen, traction control, anti-wheelie, ABS, and different power modes. A step up to the blade, and for just over a four grand deposit, you can grab yourself one of these for 279 pound a month. And now they come with a, a track day experience, which is inclusive of two BSB tickets, a paddock stand, a key box, a motorcycle mat, and a one year data tool tracker subscription. I'm sure you can tell I just love being surrounded by these two Japanese beauties. So we've got a demo of both models available in store. Give us a shout, come on in, have a great time. Thanks for watching.